Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you what in my opinion is the fastest way you can get those daily prime engrams. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button, it really does help me out and I do appreciate it. Also, if you want to be around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Now, this isn't a cheese, this isn't a glitch, this in reality isn't a farm, as you should normally be getting up to two Prime Engrams a day max, but that's at a push depending on how much you actually play the game. And it can take quite a few hours for these two to drop. So how do these actual Prime Engrams work? Well, in reality, they're actually quite simple. Every daily reset, you get something called, which you will see within your inventory, called a Prime Attunement. It reads, chance to receive a powerful Prime Engram by defeating, challenging enemies, or completing crucible matches. Now, it isn't exactly known what triggers the Engram to drop, or whatever stage of enemies' numbers you have taken down. All we know is, by defeating high-level enemies, in terms of those you see with three health bars, Keep killing these and your Prime Engrams will drop. I'm guessing you have to get through a certain number of these to happen, but it can take a stupid long time for this to work. Hence why I bring you this video which you can use to get those Engrams drop relatively quick considering the normal amount of time it takes to get them. Now the cheese for these I will explain just in case you haven't seen or heard about it. And just in case you were thinking, well, I think I know what I'll do when trying this. I'll leave them Prime Engrams to go to the Postmaster and keep farming them. Because if you don't pick them up, the Prime Attunement buff doesn't disappear. Well, actually, that's what the cheese was. Farm these things, but leave them to go to your Postmaster. If you don't collect them from the floor, the Prime Attunement buff doesn't decrease or disappear until reset. Well, it actually resets, so it stays. But this does come with consequences, people. In doing this, it will affect the way Prime Engrams drop for you in the future. Bungie weren't exactly clear on the effects, but they said up to two or three weeks without having a Prime Engram drop for you. So don't cheese this, people. Pick them up as soon as they drop. Plus, you have to remember, if you do leave them on the floor and stack them to go to your Postmaster, when you do go and pick them up, they will all be around your current level anyway. So in reality, you ain't really going to level up much from that. So yeah guys, stay away from cheesing these things. Okay, so this what I will show you today is in my opinion the fastest way to get those Prime Engrams. Your daily Prime Engrams. Meaning you can then go to do whatever else you want to earn that powerful gear. Or in fact, if you have finished your weekly powerful gear activities and Primes are the only thing in the week for you to go and get besides the dailies, use this to get them as fast as possible. So you can go about your day. So what you want to do is load up the Leviathan Raid. Once you have loaded this up, you need to make your way into the Underbelly. To do this, you have to open your way up via using the levers down below. The order these need to be pulled is 153246, seen on screen now. This can be a pain in the ass to do solo. It took me up to about 10 minutes because the levers just weren't pulling properly. I eventually got the hang of it and it wasn't too bad from this point forward. It just depends on your positioning pulling the lever for some weird reason. So don't try and rush through pulling these levers. Make sure you hear the other one go all the way down before pulling the following one. So one, five, three, two, four, six is the order you need to pull these levers in. So once you've done this and the sequence works, you will see a message in the bottom left corner saying your way is open or some shit. Now you have to travel into the underbelly, so follow where I go. So once you get to this fan, you need to activate it via the machine in this room on your left. Then use the fan to take you to the top. Now I will say this run you are seeing here was the first thing I did on my Titan today. So you will see how quick these Prime Engrams can drop for sure. So once you've got to the top of the fan and travelled up, you will see there are two paths you can take. You want to take the path on your left when facing what seems to be the right way. 
So travel left, follow the route, and you will eventually come to this door here with a lever. You need to pull this lever, and then you will enter the engine room. This is the room you will farm to get them prime engrams. Now, as you will see, I got mine from literally the first enemy I killed. Absolutely awesome. But this may not be the case for you. You may need to run it a couple of times. So kill all enemies in this room. Almost all have a chance of dropping that prime engram for you. Once you have killed them all, simply head back through the door you used to come into the room. The door will close. You use the lever to open the room again and repeat the process and keep repeating the process until you get that prime engram to drop for you. Now, once you do get this prime engram to drop, if I were you, I'd pick it up straight away. Head to the Cryptarch and decrypt it. Then come back here to farm another. As that's the logical thing to do in terms of helping you level up that power level. This engine room, by the way, is also a great place to farm every other type of engram, legendary and even exotic sometimes, as we know they are rare, but they can still drop. So look out for those also, people. Now, the right thing to do with this farm is to do it on every character before reset if you have enough time, obviously transferring over your highest gear, which can be applied to your other characters. If you have three of the same class, i.e. three hunters, weapons and armor, transfer them all. But if you have three different classes, i.e. Hunter, Warlock and Titan, just transfer your highest weapons. Standard stuff really you should already know about. Maximizing them prime engrams to drop at the highest level. This is what I do to get my prime engrams almost straight away so I can work on other things throughout the day. So yeah guys, I hope this helps you out and I hope you get them fast prime engrams. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But once again, guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.